welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm going to go over every single trade I called here today um, on the Options Newsletter. And the reason I'm doing that is because it was a very, 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 very busy day. I got up in the morning, I rated the market gap, and I knew that the market was going to fall today. And then I also knew, and I knew that based on the gap rating, and then I also knew that a lot of things were going to fall with the market. So I called a lot of puts today. In fact, there was only one long that I called today. I called Netflix calls out the 390s out till next Friday. Actually, all the trades I called were out to next Friday, although I could have called them out to expire tomorrow, quite frankly. But anyways, if you want bigger moves in some things, then you're still then you're still in um, in these, but you could have got out of everything today. Anyways, long story short, Netflix was the only thing that I thought could continue higher because look at the way it's traded today. Look at the way it traded yesterday. So I called the 390 calls. I mean, this is very, very strong. Who knows why and who cares? But I called this later in the day. This wasn't in the pre-market, just so you know. And I called the Amazon puts for 1925 strike. I called them later in the day. I called the Boeing 285 strikes a little bit later in the day. And everything else I'm going to go over next, I called in the pre-market. So the Boeing 285s I called later after the open. Netflix I called later after the open. And then the Amazon I called later after the open. But everything else I'm going to go over with you now were trades that I called and saw in the pre-market would sell off today. And everything did sell off. Some things worked better than others. Okay, so Boeing was the big one here, the big winner. I called the 300 puts, the 297.50s, 295s, 292.50s, and the 290s. Slow of the day today in this, it broke 285, it was 284.29. So they all worked. Beautiful move, fast move. You could have gotten out, you could still be in this. But, I, you know, again, when something goes and you have a nice flush, I think the best thing to do is take profits in it. But you definitely could still be in this. But I had called those other ones later, too. I called the diamond 265 puts. Worked, fell, dropped. Low of the day was 259.97. Okay, big move. So from where it opened, it opened at 264.86. Boom, fell. Okay. Fell and fell hard. So those were the 265 puts. They worked. Uh, Facebook did not work as big as I thought, but it did fall. Uh, I called on this one here, 192.50. This is open at 191.82, dropped down to 189.50. Of all the things, this is trying to hang on, but it did fall. It did fall today. It, I expected more of a move out of this than we got, but, it, you know, it fell. Um, Microsoft, let me go over that one. I called the 162.50s. Expected a bigger drop in this too. This is trying to fall here into the close as well. Um, low of the day here was 161.86. Again, it opened at 163.32, and I called the 162.50 puts. I expected more of this, but again, this is plenty of time to keep going, but dropped, that dropped. I called the SPY 300s. What a beautiful call. Opened at 305.46, low of the day was 365. Boom, fell right into the strike that I called. This was just a huge move. A beautiful read on this chart. This, All these flushes happen in the morning too. QQQs, I called the 210 puts. Again, this is more room to go. More room to go and, I mean, we're gonna fall here into the close. Can you believe it? If we fall in here into the close, I'm looking at this right now, it's 150. If we fall into the close and close red today in the market into, into four o'clock today, we're going to sell off after hours tonight. This is absolutely, I mean, the selling is here. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. I mean, I personally am shocked because I didn't expect this on Monday. It could have happened Monday. To me, it would have been a better setup. When it fell Tuesday, it just, it just like fell. And then I was like, oh, you know, and then we tried to hold up Wednesday. And now today I was like, wow, we are going to fall. And we're falling. So I, I, I'm still shocked though. <laughs> but that's the reality of life. Um, uh, doopity -de doopity -de do. All right. Where was I? Tesla. How could I forget a good friend Tesla? Called the 700 puts in Tesla right at the right time. Oh, this one I didn't call in the pre-market either. I called this one a little bit later. Uh, it was like 10 something. I called it literally before it right fell off. I mean, it just went doink. All the way down, 669.05. $30 for the strike, dropped. Could this still go lower? Yes. Did this drop right away though? Yes. Um, what was the other one, Google? Did we go over this one? 
No, we didn't. Google, I called thee, and again, open here at 1362.06. I called the 1350 puts in Google. Dropped, fell, 1340 was a low. I thought that this would go further too. But again, this sector is trying to hang on. If the overall market continues, this sector won't hang on either though. But this did fall. I expected a bigger move out of this though, but it fell. Uh, what was the other one? And the last one is Apple. The last one is Apple. The very, very, very last one. Okay, so I called the 282.50s, 280s, 275s, and 270s in Apple, and this fell. So this was a nice move for the stock. Came all the way down to 273.74, but do I think it's lower? If ever, again, if everything continues to sell off, everything will continue to sell off, even the strong stocks in the market, because the reason isn't just one single thing that's applicable to like Apple. The reason that the overall market is falling is because this coronavirus, uh, coronavirus that everybody is up in arms about and thinks is going to spread and, and go worldwide and be a huge, huge epidemic. And personally, um, when Goldman Sachs came out today and warned that uh, that basically all earnings um, estimates would be pretty much have no growth, no economic growth for the year, um, I think that was problematic. So I'm not saying that's what created this sell-off here today, but that was definitely not good. What time was that article out? Let me just look. You know what? I want to look at when. Someone just sent me an email about that. Um, Speed dial today. I'm on a uh, speed at 100, speed 1,000. Zero earnings growth this year. This was out this morning at 8:12. Goldman sees zero earnings growth for U.S. companies this year because of coronavirus. Now we were down before that, anyways, because we I, I woke I woke up before then, so we we were down as soon as I woke up. But I'm just saying that. that there's a possibility that we can continue falling. And some of these targets have pretty big targets still in them, even though we did see the sell-off here today. So I think every trader has to have a plan of action what you're doing here. How much risk are you putting on? Where are you getting out? Are you holding any trades? And if so, how many? You, you know, when you take a trade, the money isn't yours if you're up in it until you exit the trade and book the profits. That's number one. Number two... While it's great to get big moves and stuff, stocks, whatever. What was I going to go to look at? While it's great to get big moves in stocks, trades, you know, the market if you're in it, um, your main objective is to make money. And the only way you do that is by taking quality trades and then booking the profits. I don't necessarily think it's a good idea uh, to hold every trade like a pig, to a piggy dream target, whether it's day trades or options, because you're going to get burned at some point if you do that, and it and it and it's and it's not good for your confidence level. Because when you take a great trade and you're up a lot of money, if you don't get out of it, it, I mean, it's just silly, quite frankly. And I've been calling so many trades, so I mean, a hundred percent chance that I will call more trades tomorrow. <laughs> so, based on that, everyone should have had a great day today. And, uh, you know, all around, very active day in the day trade room, very active day for options. It probably wasn't easy to follow me today. So um, just because there was a lot of volatility and I was calling so many trades and I, and I get that, you have to have a plan of action for these times. But I think it's important to capitalize on these kinds of moves in the market. And when I see something in this morning, like the, in the pre-market, when I know that the market's going to fall and I know everything's going to go with it or almost everything, everything I called, then it's important to capitalize on that. So we don't want to hesitate. We want to react. We want to capitalize on it. We want to make sure that we know what we're doing and looking at everything clearly. You got to be on point. Now is the time to actively be day trading. And specifically, I mean, 
I, I just saw everything so clearly here today, and I'm really happy because I, I just don't think you could have predicted the sell-off that happened from Friday to Monday or even on Tuesday. There was no way to know that was going to happen. Now, today, I had plenty of time to prepare, and I don't make knee-jerk reactions about stuff either. I like to look at something. I like to rate it. I like to take my time and organize it and figure it out with the rating system. If you're interested in learning the rating system from me, the class is this weekend. It is February 29th and March 1st. It's the class for this month if you want to do it, and I'm offering the trading room free till the end of the year with this weekend's class. It expires tomorrow. As far as the options and newsletter is concerned, it's $59.99 a year. You can sign up for that, and you get 12 months of trades of the options calls. You would have gotten every trade today. You could have made the money today to pay for the whole year, quite frankly. I do not do any trials for that, so don't ask me. The answer will be no. And as far as everybody goes, remember, size yourself properly. If you cannot afford to take... 20 trades in a day, or however many I call, then tell yourself, I can take five, I can take one, I can take two, whatever it is, all right? And again, if you have the luxury of being able to take a lot of trades and being very active, with which many people are with me, then make sure you book the profits, okay? You don't want to be up like, you know, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 and then not get out of stuff. I mean, that's, you know, so there were some very substantial moves in some of these stocks today. Some didn't go as much as I thought, so you might still be in those, or you could be in half of everything, like I said. Um, and then there's some that worked really well, like Boeing, that I really still think has a long way to go. And if the market falls tomorrow again, so we, I get up tomorrow morning, we gap down, which I don't know. It's too, too early for me to see that I will know more tonight. I will know more at four o'clock. I will know more tomorrow morning. And I'll be looking to see reports tonight. But say the market continues down again tomorrow. I mean, 280 is very, very likely for Boeing. I don't see how it doesn't get there, period. Even, I mean, sooner rather than later, quite frankly. This is even falling here now. This is going to fall into the close. Boeing is going to fall into the close. Okay. But Netflix is strong. It's falling a little bit here now, but I wouldn't be surprised if this rallies uh, Monday or Tuesday or, or even tomorrow, if the market rallies tomorrow, which I'm not saying it will. But Netflix is very, very strong. Some of these things still have some big targets, people. We're, we're going to see what happens here. Uh, we got it today. I did it perfectly today. And I'm very happy. My vision is clear. I'm on point. I'm focused. And if you want to get in the game and get started and do the class this weekend, email me. Email me and Melissa at thestockswish.com to sign up. Have a great day, everyone. And good luck. And be careful in these markets. You got to know what you're doing. <laughs> Luckily, I do. <laughs>